Okay, um, the intention of this video is to walk you through some of the principles of working with copper piping. Um, this is going to be a waterline project and I, I mean I just want to make sure that you understand that um, um, for this type of projects um, you may want to have a certification or whatever you know I mean so I do have one um, mission in one of the states in the United States but um, but I mean you know I, I just really want to give you um, an idea of how to work with this material because um, you know you may have your own property and you want to save some money so you might as well you do it in the right way so I want to be as as simple and as clear and as you know as um, protective as possible with you when you're you know health and stuff like that first of all um, when you're working with this type of material obviously this is really flammable you have a torch that is going to torch your stuff at really high temperature so you got to be extremely careful um, but you know you have the three-quarter piping in this case I have a three-quarter pipe that I'm going to replace um, You have different fittings, you know different fittings that that are you know made for this purpose just like in other type of uh, Materials, uh, what you want to make sure is that you have a really good torch This is a, like you know like a high-speed type of torch So it gives you really good pressure. This is another kind that normally you don't use but you know You have the two conditions over here measurement tape some Teflon if you need obviously this is a a wall valve, I suggest you to use wall valves when in this project I'm going to do that. You have the solder, yeah. You have a catalyzer or, or, or soldering paste, it's called catalyzer, because this thing, the catalyst, will help you to have a good reaction in between this guy here and this guy here when you burn, you know, when you're, you're uh, torching this thing or uh, you're soldering it. Um, you have brushes to clean, you know, the inside of the, of the fittings. This is really, really crucial for you to understand that you have to clean this extremely well. If you don't do that, you're going to waste your time and this thing is going to start leaking. So you got to be careful with that. Obviously, some sandpaper to clean the outside of your piping really, really well. You know, this little thing over here is a dent. But you got to be, you know, really, really thorough with that stuff. You have your cutters, different type of cutters. This is a cloth cut. This is a regular cutter. Um, pencils, knives, and all these things, really important. And you know that's that's how I'm gonna show you how normally I I try to do this this project. Okay, so um, you know to start your project and you know welding something or repairing something, you wanna make sure that you close the main line in the house or whatever line um, goes. You know well, you know what you're doing your project. The next thing that you need to do is that you need to you know um, obviously drain the lines. Uh, when you're working with copper, all the lines must be dry. Otherwise, the, the reaction of the, the you know the system is not gonna it's not gonna work really well. You need to make sure that everything is you know everything is uh, cut. Um, the bucket that he, you see here is for this purpose. The same thing as the sponge. You wanna make sure that you wanna you know you can collect the water that you're draining and that you have a faucet or spigot open in the upper part of your property or the line because you need to you know create some sort of a uh, system to drain all the all the water so the more valves are open in the upper part of your house the faster it's going to drain so it may take a couple of minutes but you need to start with that uh, don't be afraid with a little bit of pressure as long as you have the water suspended it's not a problem Sometimes when I find areas that are really tight and close to the, the wood structures, I normally try to do as many uh, soldering, you know, um, sections far away from there. In this case, I'm doing it over here on the floor that is safer. Uh, I'm applying the paste in both sections here. I want to make sure that it goes all the way in. 
and before I start welding, this is the, the solder here. What I normally do is that I try to do it that way because once I start heating the elements, um, I'm going to start spreading right here in the seam. So I'm using again, I just attach the, the head over here of the gas. So, um, you know, I'm actually diverting the piping over there. You can tell, let me see. Um, but here's the situation. Now that I'm replacing the old piping that is over here in the floor, um, we got to the point that we need to connect this section over here. And that one, unfortunately, has been leaking for a while. Although all the valves and all the stuff are, are closed, uh, and the other side of the house, maybe something is just... Um, you know, with some remaining water there. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a solution for that situation. And the solution is this, this fitting. This fitting is a really useful fitting for many purposes. You can use CPVC, which is some sort of like a plastic piping. You can use something called PEX, which is this material that I have here. This is a three quarter lean PEX. It's a nice plastic. Um, I will show you later on how to work with this because it's, it's fairly easier than copper. But that's another video. And um, but the good thing is that this thing, every time that you buy a fitting, it comes with the little bushings, and they actually go inside before you just press it inside here. You don't have to twist anything or nothing. Just press and make sure that it goes all the way in. Now the good thing about this this fitting is that they actually, um, you know, you can put apply a little bit of pressure on the side with your shanalac or your vice grip, and you can release the piece again. So they're really useful, a bit expensive, but it's worth it to have, especially for these cases. All right, we are in the final part of this project. Um, just like what you saw in the other part of the video, you gotta be careful when you're soldering all these things. So in this case, what I did is that I, you know, I just kind of place all the pieces, cut all the pieces. This is like a, like a Lego type of thing. Uh, you wanna make sure that everything is nice and clean, everything is leveled and, you know, line them up because this type of material has to be straight, otherwise the fittings don't, don't go all the way in. Um, what I did over here, I mean, you can tell there are little drips. Some people kind of disagree in that, but I prefer to have a little extra solder. Um, after that, after, you know, making sure that everything was fine, everything was tested, I went ahead and um, cleaned it up with a little bit of, like a little sponge and soap, just to make sure that it looked uh, presentable, I will guess. Um, but, but it looks, you know, nicer like that. Um, over here, I installed the ball valve. Let me move this ladder for a second. Okay, so that's the ball valve. Um, you know, this one controls the water from, you know, for another features downstairs. I mean, on the other side of the buildings. Um, and here is the, the valve with pressure. Now everything is nice and, you know, uh, tight. And, um, you know, it's just fine. It's not, you know, leaking or anything and everything was tested. So I hope this uh, teaches you a little bit about, um, you know, how to work with, with um, copper. Be careful when you're working with copper. I mean, it's, um, it's something that you gotta be delicate about with. And for instance, over here, I remove all the wires and I put them up. Um, I actually wet the, the area. I wet it a little bit just to make sure that whenever the torch was passing by, you can tell that it's not, not much of the, you know, the burnt from, from the torch. You gotta be careful with that. It's, you know, I have another wire that will actually lift, lift it over there to make sure. And and that's it. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this you know can give you an idea of, of how it's to work with this material. And you know, it's a good material to work with. A little more expensive than other materials, but it's fine. So thank you so much if you're a subscriber. If you're not, please subscribe for more educational and fun videos. I will say. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.